What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Young KD, and today I'll be giving y'all my review of the Fifine K669 USB condenser microphone. And you're actually hearing the raw audio of the microphone right now. The only thing is I have a small phone windscreen on it. One flaw about the mic is it is pretty bad with plosives and like its sibilants and stuff like that. So I highly recommend a pop filter or a phone windscreen. But other than that, it's a pretty solid mic and it only comes in around about $30. It's really hard to beat that price wise, especially for this good quality sound it has. The microphone itself is pretty small. It's a pretty small microphone, but the build quality is pretty good, I would say. It's made out of full metal. The whole body is metal. For a mic this price, you wouldn't expect the quality to be this good. I've had this mic for a couple months now, probably close to around about a year, and it hasn't gave up on me yet. You could definitely add this microphone to your home studio with a little bit of mixing. I've seen people compare this microphone to other more expensive microphones like the Blue Yeti, and it really handles itself well in the comparison, like... You really can't tell the difference between the sounds that much. Okay, now I'm about to take this phone windscreen off so I can give y'all a plosive test. Okay, now we have the phone windscreen off. Now let's test the plosives. Play, party, pants, pipe, powder. Okay, now you see why you need a pop filter, right? The plosives are pretty bad. But it's not a complete deal breaker. You probably can go get you a phone windscreen for about $5, maybe less. And if you want to get a real pop filter, probably around about $20. The Fifine K669 is perfect for people who want good quality, but don't want to spend an arm and a leg for a microphone, like spending in the upwards of three to four hundred dollars and then getting an audio interface. One thing I forgot to mention about the microphone is that it has a gain knob right on the front of the microphone, and it's very sensitive, so you can't have that thing turned all the way up. Okay, now I'm going to give you guys a comparison of this microphone compared to another USB microphone, the Samsung Q2U. But the Samsung Q2U is a dynamic microphone. And the K669 is a condenser microphone. So now I'm about to let you guys hear the difference between the two. Keep in mind that the Samsung Q2U is double the price of this microphone. Okay, now I'm switched over to the Samsung Q2U so you can see the difference between the two microphones. Keep in mind that this is a dynamic and the Fifine K669 is a condenser. This microphone is more for like streamers or people who podcast. Where the Fifine is more for like vocalists or singers or rappers. Okay, now we're back on the Fifine, and I know the main question y'all want to know, is this a good microphone or is it worth the money? Yes, it's worth the money, and it's a good microphone. If you've been listening to it, you could tell that it's pretty decent, especially for the price, so I would recommend it. So for all my content makers or artists, yes, this is a good startup microphone for y'all. All you got to do is just play with it and learn how to make it sound better and better, just like you do with any other microphone. But yeah, I hope this video helped y'all, and if it did, hit that like button and give me a subscribe. It really helped my channel. So y'all go out there and start making some content, man.